see that there's part of the reason all these babies are going to come right on top of one another it's not a full moon yet but it's coming Bojo literally just had babies about 10 minutes ago. We were out here for the whole thing. She progressed so fast, we really didn't get to catch it on camera, but guys, these kids are so gorgeous. So she gave us a doe and a buck. The buck is the dark colored one, and the doe is the light colored one. She is pure white. She is beautiful. Here, guys, see? Hi, Bo, you did a good job, Mama. There you go. Are they not the sweetest things that you've ever seen in your entire life? And we figured Bojo was getting ready to go into labor. Her ligaments were gone. And she's such a seasoned doe that we knew once she, her ligaments were gone, it would probably literally be hours. And it was, so. Um, yeah, it's about 11.30, almost midnight, and she's giving us two babies. <laughs> These are all coming on each other's heels this time. Look at these faces. They are so cute. This doe, this white doe with the airplane ears, I am in love with this doe. <laughs> she is so cute. I do keep a couple things in my chicken coop for things like this and the first one is Dr. Naylor's blue coat. I know it looks like a dirty but guys chickens have so much dander and create so much dust it's hard to keep anything in here really all that clean. So this is blue coat. It's an antiseptic so it will treat the wound and go ahead and get rid of all the bacteria. But, but the biggest thing here is chickens if they see a red spot or they see a raw a raw spot on another chicken they'll keep pecking and pecking and pecking and eventually it can cause some serious damage. So I'm going to go ahead and catch the meanest rooster el diablo in the world and go and put some blue coat on him so we're going to turn that red into a purple or a blue so stick with us guys never a dull moment all right here we are with the meanest rooster in the world el diablo and you guys can see it is really bad like he's really bloody i don't know it's not really been cold enough to have frostbite for it to bust his comb like that. I'm guessing that the other rooster that's been in there with him um, finally was just saying, I don't know if you're the boss anymore. So I'm just going to go ahead and I've got him holding his feet just to keep him nice and secure. I'll try to face him. I'm a, I'm a right-handed person, so he's probably going to try to bite me. But So you guys can see him right there. I'm just going to... Okay, keep your head up. Let him see. Let, no, let him... See why he's so mean, guys? He doesn't even want me to help him. No? Bud, I need your head up here where I can see it. And it is cold out here, so it's frozen. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and just take the top off. This stuff will dye your hands, so I don't care what's on my fingers right now. I'm just worried about getting him kind of doctored up so you can see nice and nasty so I'm just gonna put it apply it right on his comb right there just kind of get it in there this gives me a chance too to get under there and see where he's injured at it looks like it's just his comb but you guys see like their combs are really red so there's a lot of blood flow and circulation up there they frostbite really easy when it gets cold so that was my first thought is maybe it's frostbite but I just really don't think that's what it is. I think the other rooster just got at him. So maybe it's time to start separating our coops. That's part of the reason why we have the two separate sides here too, is if we have two different sets of breeding chickens. So, which I can use him to breed only my salmon fabrils so we can hatch out some of those chickens. Hey, don't bite me. Guys, he's biting the crap out of me. Don't bite me, bud. So we're just gonna, 
and you can see now I've got purple fingers but he is in it it's darkened it up a little bit but the big thing is just getting it on there now if it weren't cold in the spray we're working I could just dab it on there and spray it where I needed to but because it's cold and it doesn't really want to come through there and honestly I'm probably due for a new bottle but I'm um, just for good measure let's do just a little bit more on there I know you're you're mean he's mean and hateful say say hi say hi Diablo say hi hi wish you guys would get to be introduced to him up close and personal on a better note but roosters are roosters and dominance is a thing between animals so he's just doing what he does the other roosters doing what he does and he looks like he just came out on the losing side so looks like we've got him doctored up I'm gonna go and spread some greens thanks for watching with me um, hopefully we'll keep an eye on this so the next thing I might do just to keep that nice and Moist and stuff is put Vaseline on it. I'll just watch it and monitor it or Neosporin, whatever I need to do with it. But uh, I just want to cover it up too so that the other chickens don't peck him anymore. And Because um, that's the big thing. If they keep pecking, he's not going to be able to heal. So say, say bye, Diablo. Say bye. Say bye. Bye, guys. All right, guys. That's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching and following our adventure. If you want to see more of our adventures and stay in tuned, so go ahead, smash that like button, make sure you subscribe, it helps us a whole lot, and don't forget to ring that notifications bell so you don't miss out on anything. Thanks guys, until next time, bye.